Boeing flew the first F-15X Seagull on a 90-minute hop around the St. Louis, Mo, area February 2, signaling that the jet will soon be ready for flight testing at Eglin Air Force Base. Florida Boeing test pilot Matt Geese flew the jet, with Boeing test pilot Michael Quinatini in the back seat. The flight, which began with a max performance vertical climb from St. Louis Lambert International Airport, abutting Boeing's combat aircraft plant, was meant to test out basic handling qualities, avionics, advanced systems, and software, and all went as expected, a Boeing spokeswoman reported. A test team monitoring the data collected during the flight in real time confirmed that the aircraft performed as planned, Boeing said in a press release. The test card for the flight is not being made public. The jet, tail number 200001, is the first of two that are to be delivered for testing at Eglin by the end of March. A formal rollout of the second aircraft or an arrival ceremony at Eglin is slated to occur in March or April, months ahead of schedule. The Air Force awarded the formal F-15X contract for the first eight airplanes in July of 2020. The aircraft is powered by two F-110 GE-129 engines, the only ones so far certified to fly with fly-by-wire eagles. The Air Force has told Pratt & Whitney it can offer engines for the F-15X program if it certifies its F-100 engines on a type at its own expense. GE is under contract for 19 power plants for the 8 planned F-15X test aircraft. The Eagle is expected to reach initial operational capability at Kingsley Field, or, in 2024. The F-15X will have sufficient structural life to serve through 2050. The fighter has two seats and is based on the 1970s vintage F-15C-D Eagle, but upgraded with a modern suite of flight controls, computers, and defensive electronics. It is equipped with conformal fuel tanks and two extra weapon stations, versus the F-15C. The Air Force is buying it to supplement the fleet of legacy Eagles that are rapidly aging out and can't be economically life extended. The Air Force plans to buy between 144 and 200 F-15X, depending on whether the type will also replace F-15 knee strike Eagles, which still have a decade of service life remaining. Despite the second seat, the Air Force intends to fly the F-15X with only a single pilot. The F-15X is based on the F-15 cab being built for Qatar, but embodies other improvements added by export customers over the years. Its fly-by-wire flight controls, for example, first appeared on Saudi Arabian F-15s aircraft. Boeing estimates the Air Force is leveraging more than $5 billion of improvements in the F-15 funded by export customers. Unlike export models, the F-15X and older USAF F-15C-Ds will be protected by the Eagle Passive Active Warning Survivability System IPOSs, a suite of electronic warfare gear and countermeasures to extend the type's combat longevity. The jet is seen as meeting Air Force capacity shortfalls in air defense and as a standoff weapons carrying platform that could operate outside contested airspace. The F-15X has an open mission systems architecture, allowing frequent, competitive upgrades. Boeing's F-15 Vice President and Program Manager Pratyush Kumar said the X is capable of incorporating the latest advanced battle management systems, sensors, and weapons due to the jet's digital airframe design and open mission systems architecture.